My name is Adam Marshall. I'm Director of Policy and External Affairs for the British Chambers of Commerce. I think the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to in 2012 is our campaign to show that business is good for Britain. There's too much uh, talk, both in the media and in the public right now, that business somehow is responsible for the difficult situation and difficult times we've found ourselves in. We in the business community know that that's not the case, and we're going to be out to prove that business is good for Britain throughout the year. We know in the Chamber of Commerce network that business is good for recovery. Without business, we're not going to get back to a situation of economic prosperity. We know it's good for communities, both here in Norfolk and throughout the country. And we also know it's good for people, whether it's a youngster getting their first chance in work or for people throughout their lives uh, in terms of their ability to generate wealth and become prosperous. The single biggest challenge facing businesses, both here in Norfolk and throughout Britain, is global uncertainty. We've seen falls in demand around the world as a response to some of the financial and economic crises we've seen, most notably, of course, with our near neighbours in Europe. And that uncertainty really has uh, created difficulties throughout the business community. In 2012, we hope that that uncertainty will ease. We hope that demand will come back into the economy again. And we hope that businesses will be able to invest with confidence, to export, to expand and to prosper. I think there are signs that, especially in the second half of 2012, we will see some of that improvement, but we have got to keep the faith, we've got to keep that local confidence where it exists, and we have to build up our self-belief. Norfolk is a dynamic and varied county. I know that most of the businesses here in this county are, of course, very small indeed. And a lot of those businesses are looking for their next step or their next growth uh, point. So I know one of the challenges for 2012 will be to help small businesses in Norfolk think about their future plans and their long-term vision and grow into the big businesses and the world beaters of tomorrow. Equally, I know that there are some sectors in this county where you've got a really strong advantage, whether it's energy, tourism or agriculture or even the fantastic city centre in Norwich which is a draw to people and shoppers from around East Anglia and in fact around the world. There's a lot here to build on and I think Norwich business has a lot to look forward to in 2012 and Norfolk business does as well. <laughs>